Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, my name is Dylan, I'm the owner of Rough Buff Beards here in Buffalo. Uh, today I'm going to be going over some uh, beard care, beard tips, uh, routine, things like that. Um, you know, the first thing we obviously have to put out there is there's lots of different kinds of beards. And there's what I call neck beards, where it grows under here. I think that's pointless to even have a beard at that point or try and figure out what you should do for up here. Anyway, um, a lot of people have thin straight beards or thin curly, vice versa, every which way. Um, if you're looking for a certain kind of beard or you want something that's more pertaining to your actual hair that you do have, I would try and look around and find someone who does have the same style you have or are trying to have. Mine, I've kind of tried everything straight, rounded, boxed, all that kind of stuff, but, um, Basically, this is my beard. Nothing done to it. Nothing going on. Nothing special. Uh, don't mind the eye. My Rottweiler caught me when we were playing. But uh, basically, what I'm going to do is get my beard wet first. And I'll show you where to go from there. So what we're going to do first is take our beard wash, don't mind this, this is just a bottle I've used like five, six times. Um, this is actually a cast style soap, pure cast style soap, um, blended with other oils, uh, I pre-dilute it so you're not wasting any in the shower, um, kind of just give it a shake, pour it into your palm. Rub it all together, let it lather up a little bit, and then just work it in. Get in here. I always kind of start at the top and go down. Get up here, make sure you're getting under the hair, getting it to the surface of your face. And then I kind of focus in on the middle because right in here and back here are the most common missed places. So you've got to get everything. And then you start working the other beneath. Going through. Now we're kind of just going around everything. So that's when I start going through and Trying to get it through the individual hairs and getting it up to my jaw. Make sure, making sure everything's rubbed in real good. Now this is my beard wash, but I actually use it as a body wash as well. Looks really nice. I actually uh, started the beard brand because I was tired of crappy beard brands putting a bunch of chemicals in their stuff or you go and there's only wood and citrus scents available and then you're putting on, you're using like Dove Shampoo, Old Spice Body Wash, um, a wood scented beard oil and a citrus cologne. So by the time you leave your house, you have like five different scents going on. Not only that, but the store never has everything in the same scent that you're looking for. So you start mixing, matching shit. That's why I wanted to do this. So every 
product is available in that scent. You have everything. You're all matching the one scent. And they're designer style fragrances. So they match your cologne. Like Aventus Creed, Aqua de Jo, uh, Chicard Noir, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, stuff like that. That's actually the one I use. Um, the scent name is called the Wack Yourself. Um, that's the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue style fragrance. That's what I use. So let me rinse this up. That's all cleaned out. Then we'll run through. Kind of start separating them hairs a little bit. Mine, mine curl them to themselves, so I really got a. I'm more like an afro on my face. I haven't met a lot of people like me. Like with a beard like me. Let's dry this off. And I'll take you to the next step. Make sure when you're drying your beard, not being too aggressive with it, and you're not completely drying it out. You want to leave it a little damp. Uh, keep some moisture in there, help carry the oils. So now, what we're going to do take the beard oil this is my beard oil again don't mind these are my reused bottles so with my oil i recommend going with whatever you're comfortable with i don't have like a certain number of drops you should use like me personally my beard is pretty big so i use 20. i put 10 in my hand and then i put the rest in the beard directly starting at this top layer going across just like this just so it's going under the hair and directly to my face and I'll rub this together and I kind of just move everything through You can do the same kind of motions that you did with the soap. Make sure you're rubbing it in, especially at your chin and jaw. Especially under the jaw because that'll get insanely dry. And then get underneath, work it through the hair. All that kind of stuff. Rub that in real good. You want to make sure it's all, all getting pushed in through onto your skin because a lot of people think beard oil is going to go onto your hair and then it just like nourishes the hair or something. No. Everything moves in through your pores. It all goes in through your face. So you got to get it into that fo follicle. You know what I mean? can't sit there and half-ass it just like put it on rub it in and go like no you gotta you really gotta get that into your face because you're gonna get really dry really irritated your hair's especially a beard like mine it'll just pull everything will just pull and then just kind of slowly disperse but not into my face it's just gonna travel down my hair i need it in my pores so all of those oils are getting into my face and making the hair strong, healthy, moisturized, things like that. So I'm not waking up at fucking one, two in the morning from my beard being pressed down from my pillow and my face so dry that it hurts. Gotta go up and rinse my beard out or 
some people shave and things like that and it's just it's not good it's not fun it's not enjoyable when your face hurts or some people go to shave and they have acne all over the place because they didn't take care of themselves properly i could shave right now and i'd look like a baby so yeah we're done with the oil i'm not gonna put this in now just because i do actually have to get ready and i don't want to do this yet this is the beard balm obviously i'm low um again all natural i'm gonna take a good amount depending on your style of beard like me i'll use about that what you're gonna do you're gonna rub it into your hand until it's basically melted and clear it's kind of like a pomade almost some some of my customers do use this in their hair and on their waves and things like that so it kind of works for everyone it's not like a white person black person brand it's for everyone it's it's all natural it smells good it's getting everything across that we're trying to trying to do you know what i mean we're reaching all the goals that we're trying to we smell good we feel good or we're healthy and moisturized so basically what we're going to do with that is we will rub it in real thoroughly. That's gonna help shape the beard and also moisturize it because there's a lot of beneficial properties and ingredients in the beard balm. Like um, one of my most favorite ingredients in it is shea butter. Shea butter, beeswax, coconut oil, um, Pretty sure there's argan oil in it, just like liquid gold. Um, yeah. So, what you want to do at that point? Now, a lot of people put in beard balm and then shape it. I was just showing you how to do it. But what I personally do is, when I'm done with the oil, let me put my pick. When I'm done with the oil, I go in and I use a pick because, like I said, I have really thick afro like hair. So I start at the jaw and I come all the way down my neck, down to right here. I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing, but I go flat along my jaw towards my neck, making sure I'm getting all that hair that's resting on my face. I start there, pull straight down, go along. Like I said, I have to do this because I will have knots if I don't. Make sure you get everything. I get the bottom all picked out and then I go side to side I'm coming straight down and when I hit my jawline I'm just swooping it you know what I mean you still want to come down pretty straight just so you are like getting any curls out up here that you have any uh, tied up hairs, things like that. I'm just kind of half assing this right now because I'm just trying to get the point across. I'm way overdue for a trim, so don't judge. My equipment is not at the barber and for another few days, so bear with me. Yeah, that's basically it. What I do is I like mine straight, coming straight down, kind of leave it a little rounded at the bottom, a little bit. I've been kind of straightening it up down there recently. Yeah, I kind of, I like more of a straight box to look, kind of fits my face and my head a little bit better. But, um, yeah, I would put the bomb in now 
after I picked it out and I would pretty much just like press on my face and bring it down, kind of rub it into my chin a little bit and then go from the bottom and then settle it back down. And if I have to pick it back out again, but might not have to. But um, if you're interested, uh, again, the company name is Rough Buff Beards. Based out of Buffalo, New York right now, I am on Facebook and Instagram. You can check me out on both. Um, my website is in the process of being made. Um, I'll post another video letting you guys know when the website is finished. I'm The website's done. I'm, I'm waiting on my logo to get sent over from the designer so I can attach it to the website and publish it. So basically everything's all done. I'm just waiting on a designer. So I'll make a video when the website is published. You guys can get on there and make orders, um, shipping, all that kind of stuff. If you're interested now, obviously, like I said, I only have Facebook and Instagram at the moment, but I do have PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, um, take card payments, a bunch of other stuff. Um, obviously cash. So if you're in another state, hit me up. I'm sure we can work something out. I'll ship it to you, give you everything. And yeah, I have literally everything. I got uh, the beard wash slash body wash. I have soap bars that I actually use as shampoo. Love it. Some people like it on their body, some people like it on their hair, some some of my customers like it for shaving. Um, I got the, uh, now the cast house soap, the beard wash, body wash type stuff. You can, both, both the soaps you can use on anything, anything that you desire. That, that was my goal. So it's kind of based on preference, like, um... African American, if you're really dry, I would recommend using this on your hair and the bar on your body. Get a lot of benefits from that shea butter that's in there as well. Um, the beard bum be good in your hair, stuff like that. But yeah, it's really kind of based on preference. There's no specific route to it it's just kind of learning yourself because a lot of these other companies dove old spice axe things like that they put a lot of chemicals in so they're not leaving a certain feeling or certain texture certain smell things like that doesn't mean it's good for you now a lot of the customers who come to me or they buy it one time and then i haven't heard from them in a couple weeks or whatever i'll ask them like hey what's going on a lot of people tell me oh it feels like it's leaving like a like a wax on me that is natural soap every single natural soap you get whether it's mine dr squatch humphrey's handmade they all do that you just have to adjust to the feeling when i first started using it i was kind of turned off i was like what the hell is this Kind of felt like I was pulling my hair. I'm really hairy. And uh, I just kind of had to get used to the feeling. Let my skin get used to it. Um, skin wasn't really used to opening up like that. And having to take in all these nutrients and oils and all this stuff. So it was just kind of like sitting on the surface at first. So you got to let it run its course. We've been using soaps and deodorants with paraben sulfates and aluminum in it basically our whole life so um yeah like i said i got the beard wash body wash um the soap bars made from glycerin obviously added oils and fragrance in it um beard oil the beard balm that could be used as a pomade um i got an all-natural deodorant to the same sense um I'm just trying to think. I got straight razors that come with packs of razors. I got beard picks, beard brushes, 
uh, derma rollers. Those are little rollers with like micro needles on them. And you'll basically use that on any gaps you have and it'll help get that hair out of the pore and open up that pore and start getting oils and stuff into it and helping that hair grow. Because you don't make new follicles. You can't do that. You're born with the follicles that you have. That's it. Like a lot of people think, oh yeah, I'm growing new hair. No, that's it's not the way it works. If you have gaps, there's probably hair sitting under the surface. A lot of people like those derma rollers because it opens up their face. And a lot of people are seeing a lot of growth with it, a lot of uh, benefits from using it. So, I mean, me personally, I never had to use it. So, not really. I have them. I never had to bother with it, as you can clearly tell. But, yeah, I got everything. Picks, brushes, um, straight razors, derma rollers. Like I said, deodorant, beard balm beard oil, uh, soaps, anything you need. I got it. But um, other than that, I think I'll let you go.